hi what's up guys it's tony here and i'm back again with another video so in today's video i will show you how to add custom fonts inside of canva uh why do you need custom font if you look on your screen right now you see that i have a font here which is by default a font that came with with canva so when you open up canva uh you see so many fonts right when scrolling down you see uh so many of them so many fonts and uh in the course of your design you might not be satisfied with the fonts inside of canva and you might need your own fonts so that is you know one of the major reasons why you need a custom font for whatever reason you might have uh then this is how to do it on canva so first things first where do we download custom fonts where i strongly recommend this website called creative fabrica i'll leave it in the description and also in the comments so if you are looking for a uh, font free fonts then you can find it here go on creative fabrica sign up and uh, verify your account then login you see uh, navigate your way into freebies do you guys see freebies and then click on free fonts so when you click on free fonts check in your browser i don't know what the hell this is but while you wait for it please make sure you smash the like button okay smash the like button and also subscribe yeah subscribe okay so scrolling down here you have thousands and thousands of free fonts hold on thousands and thousands of free fonts uh, you have lighting a lot of them there are so many which i can't begin to mention so but let's just uh take one for example let's just go anyone that catches our fancy let's go to page two and see if we'll get any font that we like uh okay uh neon sign no okay let's choose cute uh cute kitchen so this particular font so if this is the font you want to to uh, install or import into canva click on it and download just click on download and the font to download so once it's downloaded to your pc you just show in folder go to show in fo uh sorry show in folder and uh all you need to do is to extract file to kitchen okay so it will extract the file to it to create its own uh what's it called folder right here and you can see the file extension is otf file extension is otf for this particular font so what you need to do is to go back to canva then go to canva and go to home by the way i'm using canva for desktop canva for desktop uh, is a, is, you can use it on windows or on mac you can just download it and install it's just like a regular application that you install into your pc so uh go to home your canva app and uh, scroll down and you see brand do you guys see brand so click on brand and scroll down here you see branded fonts right so beside branded fonts you see upload the font so uh, just click on upload the font and it will redirect you to your pc so wherever i save the uh, your font in my own case i have it in downloads and which is the cute kitchen right so i click on it and open it and select this particular cute kitchen so i click on open you say please confirm the following by uploading yes upload anyway so i upload this yes upload anyway so it's going to take just few minutes depending on your internet connection and and the size of the font you are trying to import okay so there you have it this is cute kitchen right cute kitchen imported very simple so let's okay sorry i had to switch to my browser uh the browser app right so when you uh now that i've imported it let me show you go to brands as i showed you brands right brands and go scroll down here go to uploaded fonts and you see cute kitchen right that was the font we imported so now go over to your your design so let's click on here so you see that this font has been successfully installed so click on here and go to your fonts you scroll down okay you see uploaded fonts you see cute kitchen right uploaded fonts you see kids kitchen so this is pretty much very easy to do uh you can you know if there is any other sites where you know like the fonts where you know you can download 
our font files you can easily download it and use the same method to import it into canva then uh, another important update this feature is only available for those that use canva pro if you're a canva pro user then you can customize if you're a canva pro user then you can customize and uh, use uh, this particular feature inside of canva okay so this is more reason why you should be using canva pro canva pro is uh, is amazing super amazing i'll leave a link in the description uh, and also in the comments for those that want to upgrade to canva pro you can use my affiliate link i will thank you for that if you do that uh, but trust me there are so many other features that canva pro uh, feature that you want to try out like the remove background which you know i will mention in a later video so uh this is tony signing out for now i hope you guys enjoyed this particular video tutorial if you have any question leave it in the comments if you're not subscribed please do that for your boy like and uh share i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now